I'm going to do a combined haul from uh, Dollar Tree and Dollarama and uh, then get into the um, secondhand stuff that I've got. So I just got a couple of hearts. Um, the red one I'll probably display somewhere and then the pink one I'll use as a um, stencil. I couldn't think of the word. Um, so I also picked up this Alpen Muesli, which I tried with some yogurt, and I don't like it at all. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I bought it because it was non-GMO and no artificial stuff, and um, it tastes a lot like Raisin Bran. It seems, seemed to be mostly bran and raisins, so that wasn't what I was looking for in a Muesli. But um, I guess i got to go back to granola. Anyways, they had a ton of these in different colors. They're really good price 50 pieces for the for the dollar 25 a dollar in the US of course craft decor ribbon and trim medley and there's so many in here and they had so many different colors and so many different types um, but I really wanted the browns because I thought there'd be some good trims in there for different things but I didn't want also didn't want to overdo it because you know my craft stash is just getting way too big but they're really substantial um, at the back, they actually had a bunch of these extender cables. Sometimes my cords are just a little too short, I find. And uh, they were 25 cents a piece, so I got a few of those. And I couldn't resist this in the garden section. This little bee with a bell. So cute. And then I got two of these windmill ones, because I'm going to create... Um, what do you call them? Those uh, tripods outside in the backyard to hang plants and stuff, vines on, can't think of the word right now, trellis, but not really a trellis, anyways, um, I'm going to put those on the top of them, and I finally found these that I've seen everybody else hauling in the states on YouTube and stuff, these faux moss stones, I never see them, so I grabbed a bunch of packages of those, and some long t-shirts, I get really good deals on t-shirts there, so these ones are cute, I got a bunch of them, but can't find them right now, so there's that one. Um, then at Dollar Dollarama, I've been looking for more globes at the secondhand store, and I haven't been successful. So they have these brand new ones for four dollars, which is about two fifty or three dollars U.S. So I thought that was a good deal. So one more large one, and I can get started on that. And then I got these for four dollars. They're cute little, you know trays, or sorry, glass oh, serving bowls. <laughs> They're not glass. What are they? Ceramic. I'm going to use these in those um, ceramic and glass flowers that I'm going to be doing out in the in the, uh, the garden. So those will be the center flowers, and then I can still put something um, glass in the middle of them even. Those would be cute. Um, I got this nice, <clears throat> excuse me, wooden tray. Um, at Value Village for four ninety nine. It's it's pretty hefty. Oops. It is Tamsin Designs, Cornelius, North Carolina. Anyways, um, it's made to look antique. Obviously, it's not real antique. But I thought that would go well in my Parisian um, display that I'm going to eventually have going. And this cutlery tray is made out of really light wood. I don't know if that's teak or whatnot, but I actually saw that the last time I was in Valley Village and it was still there, so I thought, ah, I better pick it up. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but I thought it was nice. I might use it for jewelry. That was $1.99. <clears throat> this hefty guy is just gorgeous. He's probably going to stay gold. Uh, it's a candelabra, a candelabra, candlestick, uh, $3.99, and it's got some paper stuck on it, but I, I wasn't sure if it was the gold coming off or there's just a little bit of paper, but I'm just going to well, take a damp cloth to it and get that off. I'm sure it'll come off easily. I did try taking it off in the store, and it seems to come off fairly well. It's like a tissue paper or something. Um, I got these at Habitat for $2 a piece. They're beautiful. And I'm going to paint them with glass paint. I'm going to do a whole bunch of different Moroccan lamps and things. 
um, in a project yet, I haven't started, but, um, and I'm always looking for things that I can put those beautiful bottles upside down in to make a lamp, a Moroccan style lamp, so I thought this thing would be really cool, and I think it was four dollars, I don't know where the tag went, and this piece, <laughs> it's probably supposed to be a bowl, but I turn it upside down, because I'm going to also use that as a, like a lamp and have things hanging down from it, um, and put some lights in it, and it was three dollars, and then I found this rack, which is okay the way it is, I may paint it, and it was also three dollars, I love racks like that. I got these two bowls, I don't think they're old, but they're made to look vintage, I like the colors quite a bit, um, that one was three dollars, really cool pattern on it, nice turquoisey color, and this yellow one, it's got some crazy on it, but that's probably, I have dishes that I bought about 20 years ago myself that have crazy on them, I guess that makes them vintage, I don't know. <laughs> um, and these three plant stands, I actually bought them a while ago and they've been sitting outside, thought I'd better bring them in because I keep forgetting to haul them. Um, so they were each four dollars and they, they also have a second tier that goes down on the bottom shelf. So they were a really good deal. So they could, they're wrought iron, so they could be used inside or outside. So there's three different sizes. Oh yeah, and the little one has a little curly cue. Actually, these two are the same design, I'm just realizing, and that one's different. That's fine. Nobody cares. I got this cute little white rooster. And I have a lot of colored ones, but I think I'll probably just leave him white, just for fun, for $3 at Value Village. And for $4, I got four of these beautiful ceramic rose doorknobs. Um, well, not like doorknobs for a door, but for a, you know, chest of drawers. And I bought three bags of them. There were three or four more bags that were $4.99, which is weird. But they had packaging details with them, which I don't care about. So, so I got 12 altogether of those. Uh, brass pot plant holder for $3.99. And this I got at Goodwill. I can't stop buying these lamps. And that was $5.00. And he's just, and he also has his little um, doohickey, I can't remember the name of it right now. I'm having a hard time with my brain today. Um, I got this stunning antique hanging lamp. It's not doing it justice, of course, the way it is um, sitting, but I can't really hang it up right now. I'm going to hang it up in my bathroom, and when I do, I'll take another picture of it. But it's got these crystals all on it as well. It's in perfect shape heavy duty crystals, and it's very heavy, and it's got the cable with it to plug in, which is what I need, so, oh, it's missing a crystal, that's okay, nobody will notice, but the detail, it's heavy duty brass, it was $30, which is more than I was looking to spend, but when I saw this, I knew I had to have it, just because it is so unique, really, really interesting, and then also at Goodwill, I got a whole bunch of underwear for my parents, for a dollar each, so some boxer shorts. My dad likes, or my mom likes my dad to wear these types of boxer shorts. And then a bunch of Hanes underwear. I find it strange because this Goodwill in Sarnia, for instance, underwear is a dollar. Bras are three dollars. I go to the Sarnia, or so, so go to the Goodwill, pardon me, um, in St. Catharines or Niagara, any of those areas, and they're three dollars for bras. Like, it's not consistent. Their sales days are also different. Um, they have it only the second Monday of the month, a 30% off sale, whereas in uh, Niagara it's every week. So, anyways, I don't usually find as much there. Oh, I did find this beautiful dress at a Value Village when I was coming back from Mom's, and it was brand new. Oh, shoot, hang on. 